just before this podcast, I picked up all my stuff that was sent to me from my uh, apartment in Kiev in Ukraine. And it was sent to my dad's place because I was on an Austria and I just picked it up and I opened it and I'm like, oh, my Philippine shoes. Oh, my God, my Louis Vuitton belt. And I'm like, I haven't missed any of this in a single freaking beat. What I'm going to do is first I'll bring it to my mom. And then uh, because she's always like, oh, I'll give it to your brother. And then I'd be like, "Okay, let him pick whatever he wants. And the rest, please don't hate it. Don't store it. Like, don't be like, we'll need it. Just fuck. If if none of us (laughs) needed it the last fucking 12 months, throw it away, donate it, give it to someone. But don't store it anywhere. It's just going to catch dust. And just like you said, man, like, what the fuck we need it for? For me, it's a little bit of a of an excuse of like, I shoot a lot of content. I shoot a lot of reels, like, right? Like I post two videos on my Instagram a day. So if I would just own the same five shirts, which I like privately, I just wear the same three, four shirts, rotate through them. But at least in the videos, I want to wear different clothes, not to look just as much as a bum because I'm a business consultant. You know, I'm like, I'm helping people make money. So at least I should look the part, but if it wasn't about that, I would. Well, that's different. That's a part of like, that's pretty, that's like your tools, you know, that's like a part of your delivery. That's like very different. Yeah. And I think when you go and you get the luxury items, you do it because you can like, you literally do it to show yourself that you can do it. It's like, wait a minute. I don't know if you ever had this where like back in the day, I remember walking past like the luxury outlets and being like, oh man, I can only imagine like the people that must shop there, you know, and they must be like so loaded. Right. A hundred percent. And you have a good point where you say like, do it just to show yourself that you can. I always say it like this because a lot of young folks keep asking me, does money make you happy? It doesn't per se. It's really helpful. But here's what I recommend you do. None of you is going to believe me that money makes you happy and that buying awesome watches and expensive clothes is going to make you happy. None of you is going to believe me. So I want for all of you to make so much money that you then do these things. You do buy all the watches and all the expensive clothes. And then you learn that lesson for yourself that it doesn't bring you happiness. So I think everybody should go through that, through that role, through that phase where they're buying the expensive stuff just to realize it's not going to do anything for you. So I'm not an advocate of like, never buy expensive stuff. I'm like, go make money, go buy the expensive stuff and then just take the lesson and learn that you don't need it. And then you'll probably circle back to just whatever is fucking comfortable. And, And you'll probably buy even more expensive stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like you'll buy like 10 to 50 times more expensive stuff, but it's almost like the archetype of like the billionaire, like, you know, ho- hopping on his private jet in sweats. Right. You know, you know what I mean? He's just like in sweats. He's got his laptop. He's just yeah. like listening to, you know, he's listening to Iron Maiden or some, something cool, you know, yeah. like very, like, like that billions archetype of Bobby Axelrod, I think is really kind of fit. Like you can have, you know, your bespoke fitted suits and, and have really, really nice things in a beautiful home and um, have luxury uh, I think money lets you be who you are. Mm-hmm. I think money lets you be who you are. And whether you are a happy person or a sad person, a depressed person, a bipolar person, um, an innovator, you know, like where is the line between visionary and, and hallucination? Mm-hmm. Whatever it is that you see for yourself, money lets you do that. So if you want to spend that on luxury items and, be, and look really cool and look like a rapper, like, yo, I listen to like pop smoke. I'm like, oh, Christian to yo to yo I'm up in all the stoves you know like like I'm all about that right that's the life man here's the thing is the same reason why I started throwing my own parties because I was sick and tired of listening to bullshit music so I started just making my own parties we would literally be like 60 models or model like looking beautiful women beautiful people my staff me my friends and I would just play Iron Maiden I'm like, glad that everybody's here. Thank you so much for the party. Love you all. Now go endure Iron Maiden <laughs> instead of yeah. party music. You know, <laughs> Most people are like, damn, what's that song? Who, who's that artist? I'm like, oh, motherfucker, that's Iron Maiden. Okay. Yeah. That song is older than you. You never fucking heard of Iron Maiden. At least it's an interesting, most people it's know a- the damn Beatles, but at, at least that, you know. <laughs> 